you are a winner and let me tell you that you can make things happen you can do great things that's something that you need to believe that you have a lot to achieve but remember as a winner you need to be aware of the thing that can block your success you need to be aware of these things and you need to do everything to fight to get rid of it and avoid certain things in your life what are some of the things that can block you can make you not achieve things that you need to stop discover them deal with them so that you can be able to achieve and develop and become a better person and a great person what are some of the things that you need to stop doing in your life hi what a joy and a blessing meeting a great and a wonderful person my name is Shaviha Mulengia, the author of the book Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping, How to Build a Happy and a Healthy Marriage. That's a great book for couples. And the other book, You Have a Bright Future, Do Not Give Up. That's something that you need to believe that you will make it. The third book, Secret for the Singles, How to Start a relationship and how to behave in a relationship. I have written many books, get on my website. Thank you so much. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you're part of the family, I'm so excited talking to you. What a joy. Today we'll be talking about things that you need to stop doing. You are a winner, but you need to understand the thing that you must stop. Let me tell you, you could have achieved great things, but the thing that may be stopping you from becoming a better pastor, for doing great things, what are some of these things? We are going to talk. I'll talk about seven things that you need to stop. Do you want to make it? Yes, I know you want to succeed, but what are some of the things that you need to stop? Number one, looking down on yourself do you know you have a lot of potential you have a purpose to accomplish and you have a plan you have what you have in you you are given so that you can accomplish a lot and how are you going to accomplish a lot one you need to believe that you have something start acting now and do it without fear and believe that indeed you will achieve. But what happens when you look down on yourself? When you look down on yourself, you are suppressing what you have. You are stopping yourself and you are making yourself not able to start anything. Never look down on yourself because those who have achieved, they are not different from you. Do you know that uh, those who have made it you may be even more clever than them. But these people stop looking down on themselves. Let me tell you, when you look down on yourself, you'll not be able to achieve. I'm telling you about the books that I've written. When I started writing the books, uh, people, oh, you, you, do you think you... Don't listen to people. And one thing, be your best friend, be the person who will encourage yourself, motivate yourself, say yes, I can do it. So the thing that you must stop doing, don't look down on what you have, on what you can do, and what you can achieve. Believe. Everything starts with faith. Believe that I can do it. I believed that I can record, I can speak, and I can be able to talk to a blessed and wonderful person. So I'm not scared. When you look down on yourself, you start developing fear. You start developing doubt. You start developing, you become discouraged. Someone like me, don't look down on yourself. Rise up, say, yes, I can do it. I can do it. I can do great things through him who gave me the strength. So stop looking down on yourself. That is number one. When you stop doing that, you will achieve and you move great. The second thing that you need to stop doing is losing focus. Life, you need to be focused. When you're focused, you'll be able to be firm, you'll be able to achieve what 
When you don't have a focus, you will regret, you will fail. Without focus, you will fail. So, you need to stop. You need to be focused in life if you want to achieve. The third thing that you need to stop doing is lack of purpose and vision. And that's great. Without a purpose, fact, you'll not be able to move. You'll not be able to do great things. You need to have a vision. What is your vision for life? What do you want to become? What do you want to do? What do you want to have? What is your vision? What do you dream about? And let me tell you, everything starts like a dream. And a dream, I keep saying a dream is like a seed. And that seed, you need to nurture it. You need to acknowledge it. You need to value it. If you don't value what you have, you'll not be able to benefit from it. But you need to value. Say, yes, I have a voice. I can use it. Yes, I have this. You need to value what you have. And the other thing that you need to stop doing Remember, we are talking about the thing that you need to stop doing and living in the past. Living in the past is because these things happen. I am scared of starting. There are those who are scared of starting relationships, those who are start scared of starting businesses, those who are scared of even applying because they failed in their past. If you failed in their past, it does not mean that you will not make it. You need to believe that, that you are able to make great things. So, don't live in the past. Forget the past. Focus on the future because you have a bright future. One thing that you need to stop doing, living in the past. Say, yo, you see, I'm scared again, again. I, I, I'm scared. I'm... No, stop doing that. Living in the past. The first thing that you need to stop uh -huh. It's listening to the wrong people. When you listen to the wrong people, I can assure you, it will make you not to be able to do great things in life. You need to stop listening to the people. Who are the people you are reading, watching? Listen to people who will motivate you. People who will help you to discover who you are and what you have and what you can achieve. People who will encourage you listening to the wrong people most of the time we listen to the wrong people and that make us not to be able to achieve great things and the other thing that you need to stop doing lying to yourself lying to yourself and you need to tell the truth to yourself no recognize yes your weaknesses but so so appreciate the strength that you have and you need to focus on your strength, not focus on your weaknesses. Most of the time, you can focus more on the weaknesses, so that make you not be able to start anything because you feel like, oh, I'm a failure. No, you're not a failure. You're a winner who has not discovered their potential. So you need to be able to stop lying to yourself. And the other thing that you need to stop doing Lack of gratitude and courage, confidence and commitment. Lack of gratitude. You need to stop complaining. Stop comparing yourself. Stop that. When you complain, you're not helping yourself. Stop complaining. Stop com comparing yourself. Stop crying. Stop these things. So these are some of the things that you need to stop. I say number one, you need to stop looking down on yourself. You are not, you are a very, very important person. No matter what people are telling you, people may look down on yourself, on you. They may look down on you, but you need to value yourself and believe that yes, you can. The second thing that you need to stop doing is lack of vision. Have a clear vision. Know who you are, what you want, and where you are going. The third thing that you need to stop, living in the past. Don't bring your past to your present. Focus on your future. It does not matter. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from your past and move on. The fourth thing that you need to stop, listening to the wrong people. Don't pay attention. Who are your teachers? 
Who is teaching you and what are they teaching you? You need to know what you are reading. You become what you see, what you read. So you need to see, choose, select because you are able. And the fifth thing, lying to yourself. Don't think that you cannot. Don't lie to yourself. Believe, encourage yourself, putting yourself down. And number six, don't lose focus and interest and motivation. When you lose focus, you will not be able to achieve. Number seven, don't lack gratitude and courage, confidence and commitment. Have confidence, commitment. And above all, stop comparing yourself, complaining and cursing yourself, crying over your past. Remember, you are a winner. Wake up, work, and you will make it. You need to change your mind. Change the way you look at yourself. Change the way you look at life. And change the way you look at things. A poor perception will lead you to poor results. You need to be strong. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment. I'll be very, very happy. My name is Shavi Hamulengia, the author of the book, Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping. Thank you so much. God bless you.